Esophageal diverticula are pouch-like structures that form in the walls of the esophagus. These diverticula occur due to weaknesses in the esophageal wall, leading to the outpouching of the mucosal layer. The condition can interfere with the normal passage of food from the throat to the stomach, causing various symptoms and complications. Esophageal diverticula are categorized into three main types based on their location, Zenchus diverticulum, located near the upper part of the esophagus, midesophageal diverticulum, in the middle portion of the esophagus, and epiphrenic diverticulum, near the diaphragm. The causes of esophageal diverticula are related to pressure imbalances within the esophagus. Increased pressure from swallowing difficulties, or conditions like esophageal motility disorders, can lead to the formation of these pouches. Weaknesses in the esophageal wall itself, often due to aging or underlying conditions like achalasia, can also contribute. Gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD, is another common cause, as it irritates the esophageal lining, making it more prone to forming diverticula. Several risk factors increase the likelihood of developing esophageal diverticula. These include being over the age of 50, having a history of GERD or esophageal motility disorders, and experiencing chronic swallowing difficulties. Conditions like achalasia, which affects the ability of the esophagus to push food toward the stomach, can also raise the risk of diverticular forming. Symptoms of esophageal diverticular can vary depending on the type and size of the pouch. Common symptoms include difficulty swallowing, dysphagia, regurgitation of undigested food, bad breath, halitosis, chest pain, and chronic cough. Patients may also experience weight loss and malnutrition, if the diverticula interfere significantly with their ability to eat. In some cases, food trapped in the pouch can lead to infections or aspiration pneumonia if it enters the lungs. Treatment options for esophageal diverticula depend on the severity of the symptoms and the size of the diverticula. In mild cases, where symptoms are minimal, treatment may focus on dietary modifications, such as eating smaller, more frequent meals and avoiding foods that are difficult to swallow. In more severe cases, medications to treat underlying conditions, like GERD or esophageal motility disorders may be prescribed. However, for patients with large diverticula, or those experiencing significant symptoms, surgical intervention is often recommended. Surgical management of esophageal diverticula typically involves removing or reducing the size of the diverticula. The most common surgical approach is diverticulectomy, where the pouch is removed. Another option is cricopharyngeal myotomy, which involves cutting the muscle that controls the opening of the esophagus to prevent high pressure from forming new pouches. These procedures are often performed using minimally invasive techniques, such as endoscopy or laparoscopy, to reduce recovery time and complications. Nursing care for patients undergoing surgery for esophageal diverticula involves close monitoring of their postoperative recovery. Nurses need to assess the patient for signs of infection, ensure adequate pain management, and monitor swallowing ability. Nutritional support is critical, as patients may need to follow a liquid or soft diet initially. Educating the patient on proper dietary habits and the importance of following medical advice is essential for long-term recovery. Additionally, emotional support is crucial as the condition can impact a patient's quality of life. Subscribe to us for more videos like this and visit bazaarbiblio.com for notes and free PDF books. Thank you.